today we learned something new and I hope you find it interesting. Let us read this. The girl who is wearing the red dress is an astronaut. This is a sentence and we know that a sentence has a subject and a predicate. What is the verb in this sentence? Is, is the verb here? So, is an astronaut is a predicate. Now, so what exactly is a sentence? We know that a sentence is a group of words that makes complete sense by itself and does not depend on another word or group of words to do so, to make complete sense. So a sentence has a subject and a predicate and it has a main verb. Now if you read this sentence carefully, the girl who is wearing the red dress is an astronaut. What you will find is that who is wearing the red dress, this group of words is describing the girl. So this group of words is acting like an adjective. Now let us look at this group of words who is wearing the red dress separately. So who is wearing the red dress has a subject who and has a verb is wearing. So this group of words has a subject and a verb and it conveys some meaning. Who is wearing the red dress? It has some meaning attached to it. So this group of words which has a subject and a verb and conveys some sense is known as a clause. So what is a clause? A group of words that acts as a part of speech. That is, it acts as a noun, an adjective or an adverb and conveys some sense is known as a clause. A clause may or may not stand alone to form a complete sentence or to convey a complete thought. A clause always has a subject and a verb. Remember that clause is a group of words which always has a subject and a verb. It conveys some sense and it may or may not stand alone as an individual sentence. So let us look at the same sentence again. The girl who is wearing the red dress is an astronaut. Now we have seen that who is wearing the red dress is a clause which is describing the girl. But we can also write the sentence as the girl wearing the red dress is an astronaut. What is the difference? In this case also, wearing the red dress is a group of words which is describing the girl. So this group of words is acting as an adjective. So let us take this group of words separately and let us look at it. So wearing the red dress does not make complete sense if we just say wearing the red dress. Does it make any sense? No, it does not make complete sense. And we see that this part or this group of words wearing the red dress has no subject. So this group of words which does not make complete sense and does not have a subject is known as a phrase. So what is a phrase? A group of words that acts as a part of speech, that is, it acts as a noun, an adjective, or an adverb is known as a phrase. A phrase may have a noun or it may have a verb, but it never has 
a subject doing a verb. Remember that a phrase never has a subject doing a verb. So a phrase conveys some sense but cannot stand alone to form a complete sentence or to convey a complete thought. It always depends on another group of words to make sense. Now, let us look at this sentence. The dog eating a biscuit has soft brown fur. So, eating a biscuit is a group of words which is describing the dog. So, eating a biscuit, so this group of words is acting as an adjective. It is describing the dog and is a phrase. Now, how do we know it is a phrase? Because we are seeing that this group of words has no subject doing a verb. So, can we take any group of words and call it a phrase? Let us see. Let us take the group of words eating a. Eating a is also a group of words. But is it a phrase? No. We cannot call it a phrase because we see that eating a is not describing the dog. It is not doing the complete work of an adjective. What is describing the dog? Eating a biscuit. That is the complete phrase which is describing the dog. So eating a is not working as an adjective. Neither is it working as an adverb or a noun. So this group of words, eating a is not doing the work of either an adjective or an adverb or a noun. So remember that any group of words does not become a phrase. Only the group of words which do the work of an adjective or an adverb or a noun is called a phrase. So the dog eating a biscuit has soft brown fur. Eating a biscuit is a phrase because it has no subject doing a verb. And if we write the same sentence as the dog that is eating a biscuit has soft brown fur, then that is eating a biscuit is a group of words that is describing the dog and doing the work of an adjective. Now this group of words has a subject that and it has the verb is eating. So this group of words is a clause. Dad cooked dinner after returning from office. After returning from office is a group of words which does not have any subject doing a verb. So this is a phrase. And if we write the same sentence as dad cooked dinner after he returned from office, then we have the subject he, we have the verb returned. So this group of words is a clause. Now in both the cases you will notice that the phrase after returning from office and the clause after he returned from office is telling you about the time when dad cooked dinner. So it is modifying the verb cooked and in both these cases they are acting as an adverb. The discoverer of the velcro was a genius. So the discoverer of the velcro is a group of words which is not having a subject doing a verb so this group of words is a phrase and if we rewrite the sentence as whoever discovered the velcro was a genius. So whoever discovered the velcro has a subject doing a verb discovered. So this group of words whoever discovered the velcro is a clause. 
So in both the cases, the phrase and the clause answer the question who? Who was a genius? The discoverer of the Velcro was a genius. Whoever discovered the Velcro was a genius. So both the phrase and the clause do the work of a noun here. So now that you know what a phrase is and what a clause is, let us do this exercise. Identify if the underlined group of words is a phrase or clause. We went for a movie after returning from school. The underlined group of words is after returning from school. So can you tell me if this group of words is a phrase or a clause? Now let us see. This group of words does not have a subject doing any verb. So after returning from school is a phrase. So what did we learn today? We learned about phrases and clauses. So what are they? So both phrase and clause are a group of words that act as a part of speech. That is, they can act as a noun, an adjective or an adverb. But what is the difference between the two? Now phrase may have a noun or a verb, but it never has a subject doing a verb. Whereas a clause always has a subject and a verb. A phrase conveys some sense but cannot stand alone to form a complete sentence or to convey a complete thought. It always depends on other groups of words to make sense. Whereas a clause conveys some sense and it may or may not stand alone to form a complete sentence or to convey a complete thought. If you are finding phrases and clauses a little difficult to understand, we will soon learn about the different types of phrases and clauses and I am sure that will clear your confusion. Nonetheless, take up many sentences and try to identify a phrase and a clause within the sentences. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.